The protective device is the safety device to catch a sign of abnormality in the engine and to protect the engine from serious damage. You must regularly conduct the operation check and the maintenance. The protective device generally consists of lube oil low pressure switch, jacket cooling water high temperature switch, speed relay to catch the engine overspeed, electromagnetic solenoid valve to stop the engine after receiving the signals from these switches, and air piston for stop. First of all, I will explain how to check the operation of the protective device. This is an example of checking the operation in a simple way. You can check that the engine stops with the successful operation of air piston for stop, which is brought by an operation of letting out the lube oil pressure by the lube oil pressure switch, part or forcefully operating the test switch of speed relay. Also, with the use of pressure drop gauge, electric pot and others that you are watching in the video, checking the operating point at the same time is the more accurate method of checking the operation. In parallel, you must regularly conduct the maintenance of air piston for stop. As shown in the figure, the air piston for stop is inserted in the cylinder together with the air piston for limiting the quantity of fuel injection. It has O-ring sealed structure. O-ring is degraded with time where drain or dust in the air affects it, so renew the part periodically. I'll explain how to do it. Firstly, remove the air piston assembly from the engine. Secondly, remove the fuel limiting air piston and the piston for stop from the body in order. Renew the O-rings fitted in each piston side surface. After greasing on the pistons, reassemble them in inverse order for disassembly.